guys have been following along with the drift track project, you probably know, and uh, if you have ever looked into building your own drift track, you would know that uh, the rear wheel selection can be a pretty daunting process. Uh, you may recall we've had some issues with securing a supply line for our tires to use for rear wheels. We've recently got a deal going with Octane Raceway up in Scottsdale where they supply us with their used tires from their go-kart track. And these tires are um, the front tires off of their carts. We've got uh, a big old pile of them now. But they're a little bit uh, smaller diameter than the last set of tires that we were using. So we had to kind of go back to the drawing board a little bit. We've moved to these steel wheels, which are fantastic. They've got uh, a much more solid feel to them than the uh, nylon wheels we were using before, and they have a much higher pressure rating, so there's a uh, much greater factor of safety on how much pressure you can actually put into these things uh, to hold the PVC securely. But also, you can see we have blue PVC now. We had to go out and find a uh, different supply of PVC sewer pipe that was thicker. This has the same outside diameter, but the inside diameter is significantly uh, smaller than the previous wheels, and that's because we have a smaller tire so that we can still grab onto the PVC. This is actually about 7 8 inches thick, this PVC sleeve, which is good. So we have a supply of tires now, we have PVC that will fit, but not only that, this PVC will last probably two to three times as long as the white stuff we were using before that was just Schedule 40 that was only like, oh, 3 eighths of an inch thick. So. This is probably what we're going to be going to production with. It may be a little bit wider. Uh, we'll see. But uh, this, uh, this is something we're pretty happy with. So stay tuned and uh, see how these things come out.